Broken Nature is an exhibition definitely about sustainable design, but more than about sustainable design, it's about restorative design. Broken Nature is big. I'm happy to say. This exhibition tries to give people a sense of time to make them realize that whatever happens today is going to be responsible for what will happen a century or two centuries or thousand years from now. And we will be responsible. We are part of that change. The exhibition deals with the role that design has in reconstructing some of the bonds that have been broken or severed and that connect human beings with nature. The exhibition also tackles the intersection between arts and technology. There are many pieces in the exhibition that try to reflect on how technology have impacted our life. One specific piece titled Raising Robotic Natives speculates on how in a few decades kids will be born with robots, as nowadays there are kids that are born with mobiles in their hands, so to say. And so the piece consists of this robotic hand that is literally feeding a baby. And of course, that's a provocation. Artists have always had a wonderful relationship with technology. In a way, they are the ones that really know how to use them. There's, for instance, the work of Bernie Krause. He's been going around the world and recording the sounds of nature at very high fidelity. What is amazing also is that he went back to the same locations after months or after years, therefore also recording the destruction that we have thrown upon our planet Earth. My objective with technology is two things. First, to capture the sound and the feel, and the second, to produce the soundscapes that I show in exhibits like this with software and computer technology that I employ to make that happen. I've recorded since 1968, so 50 years of representation are here in this exhibit showing how humans have had an impact on the soundscape of the natural world. And of course, if the sound is in trouble, we understand also that the habitat itself is under threat. As the curatorial team and I were doing research, one of the things that fascinated me the most is the so-called idea of technofix. So the idea that technology will save us all. One of the things that Broken Nature does is to highlight the role that technology can have in solving some of the problems of our era, of our age. At the same time, highlighting how technologies are not necessarily the solutions to all our problems. One of the big acknowledgements of the exhibition is that we believe the human race and the human species will become extinct. We have no control over that happening because death is part of life, it's natural. On the other hand, we have some control, a little bit of control on when, perhaps, and definitely we have a lot of control on how. We can design our own elegant extinction. I think that one of the goals that many of the pieces that we have decided to include in the exhibition is precisely that of provoking, provoking reflections that raise the bar of what is possible. Our hope is that when visitors enter the gallery, they don't just look into interesting objects, but they also go through an experience. They also go through the different steps of a tale. The positive use of technology can be incredibly powerful. For millennia, we have tried as human beings to imitate nature because nature is more elegant, not only formally, but also functionally. Nature does it better. And digital technology has enabled us to make a giant leap and to get much, much closer to nature. There is incredible power that just needs to be mastered in the right way. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.